Hello everyone, welcome back to Aqua Visuals. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create realistic underwater caustics in Blender. So let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the scene. First, let's start by adding a plane to the scene and scale it. Then switch to edit mode and subdivide the plane 50 times. Once we have done that, we are going to apply a sand texture to the plane. I'm using a Blender Kit add-on for this but feel free to use any sand texture you have. After adding the texture, go to the UV editor and adjust the scale to make sure it looks right in the scene. Step 2. Camera Setup Next, we'll set up the camera. Position your view where you want the camera to be. Adjust the focal length and move the camera until you get the desired frame. Don't forget to set the background color to black for a more dramatic underwater look. Step 3. Adding lighting and caustics. Now let's move on to the lighting. Add a spotlight, move it upwards and increase the intensity to give a strong directional light. Select the spotlight, go into the shader editor and enable the use nodes. Here's where the magic happens. Import a water caustic PNG image and connect it to the emission node. This will give us the caustic effect. Play around with settings like blend, spot size and radius to fine tune the look. Also don't forget to rotate the light to get the angle just right. Step 4 Creating the Underwater Look To really sell the underwater feel, add a cube around the scene and scale it up. In the shader editor, create a new material for the cube, delete the principal BSDF and add a principal volume node. Set the density to 0.01 and anisotropy to 0.7. This will add some density to the water and scatter the light creating those beautiful god rays. Change the light color to an aqua blue or turquoise for that classic underwater hue. Step 5. Final touches Now you can add some underwater assets like rocks, plants, submerged anchors, etc. to enhance the scene. And that's it. We are done. Go for the final render, do some color grading and appreciate your work. If you like this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more Blender tips and tricks. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing cinematic visuals. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.